This is a tree that somebody brought in. You can tell because you can see the little tag hanging off of it. Uh, and the little tag says that this is a yellow transparent. First, I'm amazed to find it alive because uh, when people were bringing in trees, it was either last year or the year before, and we were all out of space, uh, space to plant them. So they must have planted one here where the deer and the turkeys can get at it. And since uh, apple trees taste like candy to deer, I'm amazed that this is still here. Uh, and so once I spotted that it was out here and alive, exposed to those deer, then I thought, okay, I'm gonna try and do some quick things, just really fast, to try and help it to grow big and strong so it could defend itself against the deer, and also to come up with a little bit of a defense to probably protect it from the deer for the next couple of years. So what I'm doing is I'm laying down some chop and drop mulch. I just kind of walked around here and picked up some twigs and some brush and, uh, and laying it there. Now eventually I wanna get enough of these twigs so it piles up like this high and it's such a bramble that the deer don't want to cross the bramble to get to the apple tree. So I'll just need a little bit more. And um, one of the things that I've been doing is uh, I use this wood carrier, uh, firewood carrier, and a sickle, and I, uh, I fill the firewood carrier with a, a whole bunch of uh, chop and drop green matter, and then I pack it over here, because I've already kind of scoured the immediate area of things that I can throw into this little donut of happiness for this apple tree. I've got a soft spot for the yellow transparent. Not only is it the first fruit of the year every year, and it's not a keeper, it doesn't last very long, but it is a delicious apple, um, and my granddad had one apple tree and it was a yellow transparent. So I kind of really want to see this one make it until it starts bearing fruit. I'm gonna try and move these sticks a little ways away from the tree. But these sticks are looking really good. Scary for a deer. Yeah, too pokey. Well, let's get back to work. Well, you get back to work. <laughs> I have to go sit down. <laughs> yeah, me too. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about chop and drop, homesteading, and permaculture all the time.